What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 22 23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball just sold out. This is a four box break, random first letter, first name number two. And again, guys, uh, 17 total spots. So we're getting random from the letter below. Of course, as a example, if you get randomized letter V and we pull a Victor Wabanyama, that'll go to letter V. And there's the letters with some combos as well. Here's the names, teams, or names and letters. Let's roll. It is a one and a six. I've been rolling a lot of sevens today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should I go gamble? One to six, seven. Brian down to James. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times seven, seven. E G down to M. So Brian, you have E.G., Tristan with C, Eddie with R, Gary with A, Travis with T, Ed with uh, L.H., Michael Cohen with K, James, uh, Jimmy, F, Kev, D, Daniel. You have V, Tristan with W, Z, as well as B and S. Uh, Ed with um, J, Brian with N, O, J, uh, Jimmy with uh, M, P, or P, M, I should say. All right, well, I don't think there'll be any trades, but in the meantime, guys, remember, we have two stacks here. We'll go one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Let's see if we can generate one of those right there. And it's going to be one. So one, two, three. So this next four boxes will be for the next break. And, yeah, I don't think there'll be any trades, so let's just close the trade window. Yeah, W, uh, there has to be some, right? Or at least one. There's not too many. Obviously, a lot of these letters are very heavy with like J and C and stuff like that. R. Actually, guys, I think I'm gonna rip all the boxes and then we'll go through the hits.
Yeah, I used to be a lot better a few years back. I was following like the Ducks, you know, big Ducks football fan. I used to follow them a lot when like, you know, Boucher was there, Dylan Brooks, um, you know, Jordan Bell. There were some good couple years that Oregon did do really well though at the Final Four and stuff. But I haven't followed too much college basketball as much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, props to the people that watch every everything. Yeah, you know, I feel like if you watch every single sport and you specialize in it, then you're probably not like. I mean, you're probably not watching like. I mean, I don't know. I kind of I love sports more than anything, but I kind of mix and match and love like obviously watching like shows and movies and stuff. To specialize and take the time to learn all the players in sport, every sport. I mean, it's crazy. MMA is one that I've really fallen off, man. I used to love it when I was younger. Uh, I used to watch all the pay-per-views and stuff like that. But then when I started working here and working at night, especially on the weekends, it kind of killed that for me because, yeah, I can, like, stream it, if anything. But I don't know. There's nothing like watching it with friends and family, you know? So, I mean, I still watch it every once in a while, but I don't watch it as, as frequently as I used to. I'm definitely a football guy first, too. I love obviously hockey as well. I wouldn't say I'm special specialized in it, but like I follow obviously my teams more than anything and know the big teams and the players and stuff like that. Haven't really paid attention to more of the younger classes is what it is over the last few years, but I mean I love me some basketball too. I could talk basketball. Baseball is one that I love baseball, I love playing it, but it's just such a long season for me. I always just that's just what it is for me and being a Dodgers fan, honestly, I get hyped for the beginning of the season, watch a couple series, right? Yankees in town, Tristan. Yankees in town. Um, but I usually just get hyped for playoffs, and like I said, the Dodgers is the last X amount of years. I've always just kind of made the playoffs and kind of, you know, gone far but lost. So... Yeah, BJ Penn, GSP, Iceman, Chuck Liddell. I was a big Alistair Overing fan. I loved him a lot. I still love the Diaz brothers. Nick and Nate. Yeah, speaking of Yankees, Dodgers, I think that game should be starting already, right? try to make it out there with Chad and go to that Yankees game on Sunday Night Baseball. But the seats that I wanted to sit in were way too expensive, but also my buddy had already sold those seats a long time ago. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little picky when I go to like sporting events. I hate myself for that because I could be saving a lot more money. But I just, if I'm gonna go to like a nice sporting event, football, baseball, I like to have good views. So, I kind of kill myself with that.
see if Freddie Freeman can uh, continue his hit streak. I think he's at what, like 19 games or 20? Freddie Freeman has definitely been killing it in MLB this last 20 games and throughout the season actually. He is on a tear. Top 10 moments of Dodger Yankees. Number 10 is... Uh, Alright, Nick Smith Jr. Nick Smith Jr. again there. And then we got a Colin Chandler Green. That is number 83 out of 99. Letter C going to Tristan. There's Kaylin Clark. That probably sells pretty well. And then we have a Jalen Hood Shafino. And that is another one, letter J, which is Ed. Derek Lively. Shimmer not numbered. Jordan Hawkins, another one for letter J add, number to two ninety nine. There's a Caitlin, Caitlin Clark base. Filkowski. And we have a Jared McCann, another one for letter J. That's like a yellow to 75. Uh, another one for Ed. Khalif Battle. Shimmers are not numbered. Orange, Avery Anderson, letter A, Gary Prescott. Six out of 25. Ooh, redemption. Is Victor Webb and Yawa redemption? I thought he was signing some of them. Wow, there we go, we got one. Victor Webb and Yama. So maybe didn't sign all of them. But that is an autograph parallel of Victor Webb and Yama going to Daniel with letter V, one spot mojo. You know what? You know what it could have been, Mike? Is that when they packed this out, he didn't have it ready. But that photo that they did, what could have happened was he already signed them. He just couldn't make it into the pack out. So whoever, you know, if Daniel redeems that, he, he might get that really, really quick. I mean, we don't know if it's just the parallels or not, but I haven't seen on eBay yet. But like I said, um... I have a feeling, if anything, Jet Howard is, uh, they probably just didn't make it into the, to the pack out, so they put redemptions in there, but he might already have signed them all already. Brandon Slayer. Another Caitlin Clark. Ooh, wow, what a box. Caitlin Clark, Invicta Orange. 23 out of 25. That'll probably still sell pretty well. What a box. 
Also, did we get a bonus auto in this? I feel like we, that Wemby might have been an extra auto. We've only done two boxes so far, right? So these came together. Three, four, five. Yeah, we did get a bonus auto. There's, there was an extra auto in there. So again, guys, I don't know if Wemby is a redemption of all of them, but at the same time, guys, you know what, though? What if Wemby, what if you get an extra auto indicates you get a Wemby? That'd be kind of cool. I know, man. But you have gotten a lot of Kate, uh, Caitlin Clarks, though, which definitely helps. And who knows, maybe there's still more Caitlin Clark autos in here. Black. Then we got Jaden Zachary. Letter J. Going to add. Got another Invicta, JJ Starling. Brandon Miller. Two of those redemptions are sold on eBay 2K and 2.3K. Yeah, dude, it's wild, right? And letter B is going to Tristan for Brandon Miller. Number two, guys, there's also short prints of Wemby base and colors. So remember, he is a short print. So if you get one of those, you're also making a ton too as well, guys. So not only do you want to chase the autographs, but you want to chase the colors. A nice Derek Lively red. Four out of five. Oh, nice. It's already sent out to you. That's what I'm saying. So I'm not too entirely sure if, uh, like I said, that photo of him signing his autographs mean he made it in the pack-in, maybe the color ones, but not the base. But I have a feeling, if anything, he just didn't make it in the pack-out, Jordan Hawkins. But his, his autographs are already live, ready to roll. You know, kind of just like Joe Burrow was, like, in Contenders and stuff like that, where, like, they just couldn't squeeze it in. But but uh, if, you, uh, if, you, if you hit it, it'll ship to you right away. Which could be the case. All right, continue on, guys. Last, uh, last box here. Another Caitlin Clark there. We've seen a lot more Caitlin Clark in this box than these four boxes here too. Nice, Derek Lively. So you have a red, and now you have a gold first. Twenty-six out of fifty out of Duke. Derek, letter D is Kev. There you go, man. A red and a gold now. Ah, maybe it's a hot case. Jalen Washington. Some nice stuff here, guys. The first four boxes might have been just a little bit of an introduction to this. Now we're starting to get the hot stuff. And then Ernest. Letter E. Going to Brian E. G. There's another Caitlin Clark there. Another Caitlin Clark. Man. We only seen one Caitlin Clark in the first box, first four boxes. I have 39 Chris Murray. Letter K is Michael Cohen. Julian Phillips. Out of 100. There's gonna be a lot of Yankee fans at this game, Tristan. There's a lot of Yankee fans that follow the Yankees here in LA too. They're like the Dodgers, right? And the Yankees, they're all global. Alrighty, folks, what a very nice four boxes here. A lot of Caitlin Clark, which is very nice. We got a gold, a red. 
more Kalen Clark. We got an orange Kalen Clark. And then, of course, Lemon Yama. Chrome Prospect Autos. So appreciate it, folks. Uh, number three will be posted up next. Jaspies, casebreaks.com.